Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me Toadstar here and Minecraft Ray Tracing Beta was released today and with it there is many different kind of maps that you can download and experience this for yourself. All you need is an RTX compatible card which is basically the GeForce RTX 2060, 2070, and 2080 series. Any of those cards will work and the beta was released today. I'm sure you can find downloads online. It wasn't terribly difficult to install it but Anyways, we're going to be looking at the example map that they've given us, which shows how lighting works. And I'm going to be kind of talking, why is this so cool and why is it taking so long to develop? So let me turn my sounds down just a bit here. Uh, if there are any bugs or like the menus are kind of acting weird or it's laggy, uh, this is still in beta. So obviously it's not going to be perfect. Where's audio? Let's turn this down just a bit. There we go. So I haven't actually played Windows 10 version before today, so I might not know where everything is, all of the buttons. So here we have just the word Minecraft with a bunch of different lights, and you can see this is a floor entirely made of glass. And the light from the words Minecraft is being reflected on the glass, and you can actually see it when you look down. In normal Minecraft, this is not, you know, possible. You can't see this. You can also see, if you look really closely at the words, how it isn't just the blocks that are lit up, but the areas around the blocks. And nothing is really cubed, you know. You can see how the light is partially rounded. If I show my little cursor, you see it's super dark right here, and it gradually gets lighter. So that's something really cool. Oops, I opened the menu. So there are a bunch of different rooms we can test today. The first one is called Global Illumination. And immediately we can already see how this works. Basically, if you've ever liked onto a window in your house in the middle of summer, and the sun goes out, you know how that beam of light kind of shoots down? And just kind of is there on the carpet? Well, now this is a thing in Minecraft, and we can stand in the light and do the whole beam me up Scotty thing, and it's going to look really cool. You can also see how it's kind of reflected into the wood, because the wood is kind of a polished, shiny block. So therefore, the light from uh, the sun hitting the bricks is being reflected off of the wood, which is very cool. So next we have this room that's full of colors. We can see when we stand close to it, it's not as bright, but when we back up, it gets really bright and you can't see it's kind of like a never ending tunnel until you look and then there's just a wall. So you can see that the different colored lights are being emanated each distance. I have my settings up super high right now. So all of the lights traveling very far so you guys can get the best example possible. But so here we have green. And it kind of makes a little U, if that makes any sense. I'll try to outline the U right here. It's kind of like a U. And then we have blue and red over here. Set time to 1000. Oh, so depending on the time, things might act differently. And then over here, it just gives kind of a better example. Actually, this is glass. Oh, this is literally glass. All right, can I break this? Yeah, look at that. It's literally glass. That's so cool. Alright, so glass is 100% reflective, which is very cool. And then over here, we can see the different forms when you put uh, trapdoors over, like, I believe these are probably glowstone blocks, or I don't know what this block is, actually. But we can see just how the global illumination works, and how it kind of rounds everything rather than being squared lighting, and it's much, much more realistic. So there's a good old dragon egg, and we can see that some of the dragon egg is lit up very much at the top. But then closer down to the bottom, it slowly gets darker. And oh, I pressed the button again. And we can also see that there's shadows. Because of the dragon egg kind of having the little dip at the bottom, there's shadows. So then we can see the dragon egg again with red, which is very cool. That's probably a redstone block. These are probably lapis blocks. And this is all blue, as you can see. Uh, this also works with banners, as you can see. The banners are kind of blocking the light properly, which is very cool. You can also see how glass is kind of working in here, and you can see through the glass, you can see these uh, little blue blocks. So that's very neat. Everything looks very high quality. You can see the leaves are sort of reflective, and the cauldron's sort of reflective as well, because they're not totally shiny. While well, compared to the wood, the wood is much easier to reflect off items. Same with the uh, note blocks, it looks like. Build your own lamp. Open your creative menu and play with new blocks. Alright, so looks we are, are set into creative and we can grab, let's try grabbing 
uh, lapis. Let's mess with stairs. We're going to grab lapis blocks. We're going to grab glowstone. And then we're going to grab stairs. Let's just grab some polished stone stairs here. And we place this down. We can see how it lights up. Now let's try placing stairs on each of the sides. And we can see how much it changes when you do that. And we can add a glowstone or a glowstone on top, and you can see how the lighting actually mixes. So if we place stairs on top of the glowstone, we can get more of a kind of light blue vibe going on here. So this is very, very cool. So now we can go back to the lobby and check out zone number two. So zone number two is underwater. So now we can kind of see, oh, there's a little fish in here, and you can see the lights actually up here, totally reflecting off the glass, just like it does in real life. And we can see how glass is transparent, and we can make the water kind of look very, very clear. Here's an example in blue of the water. Here's an example over with green and plants. And then here's kind of a mix of the two. All right, let's go on to the next room. So here we have kind of like a little aquarium scene going on here. Can we actually step into this? No, we can't. Oh, we can. Oh, I need to double tap spacebar to get out of flight mode. So underwater, we can look up and see everything just fine. I really like this. Oh, my hand is actually... I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. That's fine. There are bugs, of course. We can see cactus reflecting. If we can go in here and get a total aquarium experience with squids and everything. Let's just go back into this so you guys can see it much better. There we go. So next up, let's head back to the lobby and go over to zone three. This is going to be room examples. Recommended set time to 100. Wow, look at this. So this is like a railroad track system here for a little train setup. And we can see just how far these rays actually go. If you want to turn down how far these rays travel, you can actually minus set to the bottom. I wanted this set up higher. But we can see actually that's probably going to make me not be able to record. So let's turn this back down to where it was. But you can see you can just kind of walk into the light because it's so incredibly bright in this room that it's just totally blue. And look at that, we're back to the hub. So let's go check out a couple more of these rooms over here. You can see, what is this? This is kind of like a brewing stand room. How cool is this? This is awesome. All right, there's an ender chest. We got some nice ender chest particles. All right, there's another room over in this direction. Oh, this is the same room we were just in, the railroad room. This is a different room. This is kind of like a dragon's den kind of area for, I don't know, someone. It looks like there's particles behind this. Indeed, there are. There are ender chests, little storages. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's try this room. Got to set the time to what we they want it to. Ah, yes. So this is like a kind of kitchen area. And we can see that once again, the light from the sun is totally hitting the table, making it look very, very nice. Very rounded lighting. These carpets are actually different levels, that's interesting. And the floor is very shiny and reflective, again. Looks like we have two more rooms to test out here. So this is kind of a mine area with some lava, some netherrack, some lapis, and diamonds. I don't really want to touch the lava because I'm pretty sure that they didn't put glass over it. But you can see how lava totally lights up an entire room, giving it a very nether kind of feeling. And the last room we have is, whoa, this is cool. So, of course, there's actually glass on the walls. As you can see, there, there's, there's glass right here. So this room is actually extremely small. Look at this. This room is maybe 10 by 10 at most. And it's completely reflecting because of the glass making this gigantic. So this is actually probably the coolest room that we've seen so far. Because it's just a 10 by 10, but there's glass to make it reflective. And it's kind of hard to find the door. There we go. All right, the last section we're going to test out today is over here. And this is light and color manipulation using game examples. So here's the final room. We kind of got to do a little bit of parkour to get around. 
So this room is kind of like, like a little blue. And, oh, that little push print must have done something. Oh, it made it a little bit... When you get close to the edges, it makes it much, much darker. Is this water? Yes, it is. We can't go fully go in the water. But there's water. And we can kind of see how placing blocks in different areas bends the light in different directions. Is this glass I can stand on? What is this block? Oh. Oh, it's just this. Because of glass. Okay. So we can go over this way. And let's see what this does. Oh. It removes the light from the pressure plate. Very, very interesting. So we can try over again on this pressure plate. And when we step on it, the light goes away. And again, placing blocks in different areas does indeed make light bend in different ways. That was a big jump. So we'll make our way back over here and go back to the lobby. Oh, reset puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. Interesting. Back to lobby. There we go. So yeah, final thoughts. This is absolutely incredible. Sorry if this was a little bit laggy, but obviously it's not perfect. Uh, my mine's actually pretty laggy. It's the video that or mine's pretty smooth. It's the video that's actually kind of laggy So don't go thinking oh, this is gonna be unplayable It's actually very smooth from what I'm experiencing. I'm getting about 60 frames per second, which is nice So yeah, if you've enjoyed this little uh, kind of walk through of whoa, that's trippy <laughs> How ray tracing kind of works in just this example uh, leave a like on this video, subscribe, because I might do a couple more of these, who knows. If there's a specific map you want me to cover that uh, NVIDIAs have released, uh, let me know in the comments. And thank you all for tuning in today. Alright, have a good day.